Hi there, if you want to learn how to create sound effects, then you are in the right place. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create that classic bomb whistle falling sound effect from scratch, all inside of Faceplant. So grab your synth of choice and so you can follow along. And with that said, let's get into it. All right, so this is the patch that we want to replicate. So let's open up a new instance of Faceplant so that we can do that. All right, so here we are with a new fresh instance of Faceplant. The first thing we're going to want to do here is I'm going to load an analog generator and load a sine wave. Now for this uh, like bomb whistle falling sound effect, it's in its basic form, it's just like a, uh, a sine wave getting pitched down, but we're going to make it a bit more interesting than that uh, because uh, there's a bit more going on than just that. So uh, let's start off at the bottom here. I'm going to do an LFO. And we're going to do a down ramp, and we're going to make it really, really slow just so it can happen just over a long period of time. So I'm going about 0 0.038. It should be good. And then here I'm going to uh, pitch it down by about 50, let's say. That should be good, around 50, 49, 50. So I'm, I'm going up so that when I do click on it, right, it's pitching down. All right, a few things I'm just going to adjust here just really quickly is the release that to 10 and the attack to, sorry, the attack to 10, the release to 100. And the first thing I, I, uh, that I hear when I'm hearing these bomb falling sound effects whistles is that uh, they have a bit of distortion right at the beginning and a bit of detuning. So let's work on that first. So I'm going to grab a shaper here. I'm going to go to a simple shape, do a fold back, just like that. And now I want to assign my modulation here to this, but I don't want it to happen for the whole uh, series, of, for the whole length of the sound. So the sound is going to be this entire time that it's falling down here. I'm going to turn it off so it doesn't repeat or loop. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go and choose a remap. And then I'm going to assign this LFO here, this falling LFO down to here. And then I can change how long this is going to be. So now if I assign this remap here to our sound here, our, our distortion, it won't last as long. It'll only last about whatever this is, what, a third of the a third of the time of the falling sound is happening. So let's try that. So first thing I'm going to do here, because this is crazy loud, it's going to kill your ears, is I'm just going to add a bit of game. This is just for this portion of the video here, just to turn it down, just so we don't hurt our ears. And maybe I'll also add a filter again, just so we don't hurt our ears here. Now for the drive here, I think I want it to go a little bit faster. So I could either do another remap and do a different one for the drive, or if you just right click on the orange circle here, you can change the curve of the um, of the modulation here. So now the drive is going to go down a bit faster than the mix here. All right, so we're getting somewhere. Now, the next thing I said we're going to do is have a bit of detuning. So for that, I, I like to use the ensemble plugin here, the ensemble effect. So let's have a listen to this. Right, so that's kind of the effect that we want, where it's a bit detuned, especially as the whistle, falling whistle sound starts off. But I do want it to change over time. So again, here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another remap here, because I want it to be different than the, than the distortion. Again, with our falling LFO here, I'm going to assign it to here. Same thing here, I'm going to bring it down. But this one is going to be a little bit longer. And again, I'm going to assign the mix to this one here. So now let's have a listen. Okay, so it's not too bad. Now to take that edge off of the high end, the off the high frequency here, I'm going to add a clipper on here. I'm actually going to bring the gain all the way down. Now I can just adjust again here.
Okay, pretty good. Now the last thing I'm going, to, I'm going to do here is to adjust this filter here. So for this cutoff filter, basically what I wanted to do is I wanted to feel like the falling sound is getting further and further away from the listener as as the bomb or whatever is falling, right? So I'm going to adjust that with the cutoff here. So let's bring it down like this maybe. So that's a little bit much here. Let's bring that down like that. Maybe I'll bring this down a little bit. So not too bad. Now I'm just going to adjust the curve here so it goes a little bit slower and then it's going to go faster at the end. Okay, and then, of course, the last thing we could do here is um, play around with another remap and then maybe even assign it to the volume. So we want the volume to go down uh, over time. So maybe we'll do something like this, and this is going to be our volume here. And there you have it. Now it's just a matter of like adjusting these remaps to your liking. So you have the distortion that you want, the detuning that you want, and then the filter that you want and the gain that you want for the duration of the falling sound. And that's, that's basically it. That's how you can create this sound effect. All right, so I hope you found that useful and valuable. If you want to see another video where I show how to create some sound effects inside of Faceplant, I did a whole video where I show how to create some sci-fi weapon sound effects. So if you want to see that, I'll have it on the screen here. And I think that's it for now. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.